What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. This week's episode is going to be a bit unique because we found out, we found out that, that there has been, there is another deck build set announced, this was actually announced back in April, just a couple weeks ago, and the name of the set, apparently it's not been finalized yet. It is known as Amazing Defenders. And the question is, what archetypes are going to be in this set? What could we expect to see in this set? So, I'll read off what, what it says here. It says, the latest pack in the, in the deck build pack series is announced. The latest deck build pack, Amazing Defenders, not finalized. <laughs> that includes cards to make it easy to build your deck has been confirmed for August 20th, 2022. This pack includes three different types of themes, meaning arch three new archetypes. And the cards included are ideal for constructing your deck. Besides brand new cards, it also includes reprints that heavily synergize with them. And so, we don't really know exactly what's going to be in, in the set. But when you think of the name, name Defenders, I'm assuming it's based, it, I'm assuming one of the, one of the archetypes will be a defense based archetype. Which is, which is a possibility, but when you think about when you, when you think about that a defense based archetype, I, some some of the cards some some of the cards that, that can be reprinted in this set could mainly be you know just be you know equip cards and trap cards and spells that increase you know the monsters attack you know such as um um. What is it? Uh, <sighs> you know, like old school cards, you know, like reinforcements, which increases one of your monsters' attack by 500. You know, uh, we can also see cards like Acts of Despair, United We, United we Stand, which is a really good card. Mage Power could be an another really good one, but we don't really know exactly was in the set. Obviously, nothing's been announced as of yet, as far as I know. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look. Also, too, guys, if you guys, also too, if you guys hear music in in the background, I've got I've got the I've got Zoro's Domain, the night version, um, from Breath of the Wild here on YouTube on my Fire Stick. No copyrights. You guys know how this works with the algorithm, but. Yeah, nothing's been announced. So I'm assuming... Yeah, nothing's been announced. Um... Yeah. Yeah, so nothing's been announced. Other than... Other than the other than the fact that we got a new Blackwing support, finally. Um, I'll be talking about that later on. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So, we don't really know exactly what's going to be in, in the set. I'm assuming that it might be a defense-based arc That we might see a defense-based archetype. Obviously, obviously, we're going to be seeing yet another waifu archetype, obviously. Which, I, which, honestly, we all know. We all know. When it comes to waifu archetypes, they're they're usually the ones that they're usually the ones that end up becoming the meta deck, you know, which is uh, which is kind of crazy if you if you ask me. In my opinion, it's pretty crazy, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not really gonna, you know, sugarcoat it. All I'm gonna say about this set is that. Hang on, guys. All I'm. All I'm gonna say about this set is that we don't know. Um, if I had to pick one, if I had to pick the top ten reprints that I would not mind seeing being printed in this set. When you think of the name Amazing Amazing Defenders, Reinforcements, United We Stand, Mage Power, Axe of Despair, 
And I, I know I said 10, but if I had to pick one more, I know I said 10, but I would have to say Mega Morph. Those are the top five cards I would not mind seeing getting reprinted, especially because of the fact that from their original sets, they're probably, I, I, I think they're over, they're over like 20 bucks if I remember correctly. I'm going to go on Troll and Toad and let's have a look. So let's start with reinforce. I think reinforcements is a common. So I have no idea how to spell reinforcement. Let me. Let's see. Okay. There we go, reinforcements. Um Started at Kaiba. Funny enough, started at started at Kaiba has it at ten bucks. Is that the only printing? Yeah, that's like the only printing of its kind. Yeah, that's the only printing. Wow, that is hilarious. Ten bucks. Just for that one trap card, which is pretty crazy. Now for Yanai We Stand, I believe... I believe Unite We Stand is like a, what, $20 card if I remember correctly? Uh, Unite We Stand, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Unlimited, $15. Bucks. Um, one, th uh, one, th uh, uh, let's see here, $1.50 off of OTS2. Dark Beginning 1 is, has it at 20 bucks. Yeah, I, I, I thought so. So it's about like, 2 to like 20 bucks, depending on the set. Um, But uh, as far as the first edition one from from Labyrinth of the Nightmare, it is a hundred bucks. Holy shit! But what I'm curious about is the one that was given out by the the one the one that was given out by the um, by the by the content creators. I'm curious about how much that one is because because I'm assuming a card because I'm I'm assuming a card like that could be could be about. Hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, maybe. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. But let's look at Mega. Let's look at um, Acts of Despair because I believe Acts of Despair, Ultra Rare Unlimited, ten bucks, five bucks from Battle Pack Two, War of the Giants First Edition Mosaic Rare. Uh, Star Trek Yugi Evolution First Edition four bucks. Uh, Space Time Showdown three bucks, three bucks. Seventy bucks, sixty nine ninety five. Yes, we are all mature here. Anyway, seventy bucks ultra rare. Wow, that is amazing. Even wow, that that's incredible. Yeah, so I'm I'm assuming we might see cards like this, um, in. In, in this set, uh, but we really don't know. Again, we don't really know. Um, as far as like some of the other reprints, we could also see we could also see re reprints of like cards that would be based off of off of those archetypes. You know, like maybe a I don't know, I don't know, maybe a giant soldier of stone or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe may, maybe we might see archetypes based off of like. Based off of like, um, <sighs> like what? Maybe uh, Dan Machi, maybe. Which is which actually is a really good anime. I'm I'm actually watching it right. I'm I'm actually on the Sword Oratoria uh, uh, episodes. I think I'm gonna have like five episodes left. Um, no copyrights. You guys know how it works with the algorithm, but 
I again, I don't know. It's hard to really say what we can expect from from this set because nothing n nothing has been finalized. We don't really know what's gonna be in the set. All I can tell you is that is that it'll be released, I believe, in the in in the OCG on August twentieth. So I'm assuming we might get this set. I would say right around the end right around the end of the year. So once we do have have an idea of what the set of what archetypes are going to be in in the set, then we'll have an idea of what reprints will be in in the set. But but you guys know you guys know when, when it comes to these deck build sets, usually they don't really usually they don't they they don't really age well. You know, like with um You know, you know, you know, especially with sets like this. Hang on. With sets like this, Grand Creators, it, 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 or sorry, sorry, uh, 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 Genesis Impact. Sorry, with with Genesis Impact, it didn't really do do so well. I mean, sure, yeah, yeah, it did give us the the you know, you know, Drytron and the Live Twin. You know, you know. You know archetypes. The reprints in in the set just really didn't age well. You know it just didn't work so well. But if you're looking at a set like this, Toon Chaos, which I have not opened ever on the channel since I got it. I've had it for two years, never got the chance to open it. I don't even think I will be able to open it honestly. But that being said, um, a set like Toon Chaos can can age well. It all usually just depends on what the set is, you know. So, um, hang on, guys. You know, so when I buy seal product, I always make I, I I always try or attempt to get multiples. That way, that way I can open up one on on like one or two on the channel and open up the rest at a later time because they can age so well. Especially the tins, the mega tins can do the exact same thing. Because of the cards that are in the set, and with this one, with this set right here, we don't know. We don't really know if it if it's gonna age well upon its release. But I can tell you one thing right now. I can tell you one thing right now. This could very may well be one of the most unique sets in the format as we move towards the summer 2022 format. Um, not much else to say. I don't really know what to expect. But honestly, the Honestly, these are just my thoughts anyway. I think those are just like the top five cards that we can that we can see in the set. Another thing as well is that we can also see, you know, we can also see reprints of the Solomon cards. Maybe more hand traps being reprinted. Um, which is a possibility, but only time will tell. We don't really know. But that brings me to the question of the day. What cards do you guys want to see get reprinted get reprinted in this set and what 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 anime do you guys want to see can see turned into an archetype so so to speak let me know in the comments below and that will do it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue, which get posted every Friday. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And as always, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail you guys want to send me and you guys want me to open it up on the channel, all the info will be in the description as well. I apologize if this was a shorter video, a, a short video, but... There again, there's really there really wasn't a, a whole lot to talk about. Just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on on this set. Is it good? We we won't know until the cards get released. But on that, this is your boy Nash. This signing out.